upon layer of volcanic rock. Which is why when you look at the caldera side, you can see it's like somebody has sliced it. So you can see all the layers, each layer was um, made by a new volcanic eruption. On the top of Profetisilius, there is a monastery. And these days it's, um, it's not very busy. I think there's just four monks living up there. They have a very valuable library holding books um, and manuscripts that are very important to the Orthodox Church. Uh, but other than that, not too much goes on there. Back in the 18th century, when these islands were ruled by the Ottoman Empire, they had a secret school up there. And that's where the Greeks could pass on their traditions and language to their young. But these days, of course, there's no need for secret schools. Greece has been independent since 1821. And, uh, and now the children can attend school in their own villages. Each village, there are about 13 villages, each one has schooling from the age of 4 up to 12 in the village. And then after that the children will go to one of the larger towns where the high schools are situated. And then they, can, they stay at the high school until they're 18 years of age. And then if they want to go on to further studies, they need to leave the island. Um, they can either go to university in, in um, Crete or Athens or Thessaloniki, or as many do, they go abroad, they go further afield. Many of the Greek universities have, um, have uh, contracts with British universities, and the students can go and study in, uh, many of them go up to Newcastle or to Cardiff in Wales, and uh, you find many young Greeks studying over there. There are also many that go to Germany and also to the States to, to do their further education. On the left here you can see a pistachio plantation. It's also surrounded by olive trees. So we're almost back to Fira. You can see it up there. You can see the Catholic uh, cathedral up there with the church tower, the bell tower. Um, so we will be parking up and then we will 